another night and another episode of Dungeons and Dragon Age. Um, this is going to be a good one tonight, so let's get on with it. No worry. So, here we are at episode 34. Here we are. You started to make yourselves, make yourselves, make your way up the Frostback Path in search of the Dragon Mother and the Dragon's Eye. After seeing off advances of a very hungry Foss Salamander and his best friend Bahir, you ended up making camp in the tiny hut while in the cavern as the skies hail outside the mouth of the cave. Literally, that was all you guys did last week. <laughs> yeah, it's so eventful. <laughs> Yo, lady uh, dead in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, be back. Oh, you're all right, lads. How are you feeling? You, you're all right. You're doing all right. Ooh. I'm all right. You know, some of you, some of you look really, really cold. I'm all right. Is it, just remember, uh, Bob, your highness. If yeah. you need uh, any time, you need help to be carried because you're poor, bad. You let me know, and yeah. I will be who I carry you. Thank you, Major. Thank you. So while while you're in uh, this tiny hut, you're going you're going to have a long rest. Um, oh, I thought we already did it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, you're asleep. Yeah. Oh. Um, I would like to attune to my wand. You would like to attune uh, to your wand. Uh, I sent I'm, you the, I sent you the info over for that. Yes. Info. Yes, you did. Would you like to really attune to your cape? Then Mojo. Well, that's that's what I was just about to say. Mojo. Yeah. Mo, Mojo. Mo, look at your name, Mojo. Mojo. Oh, oh yeah, who's done that? <laughs> <laughs> have it. This one's coming out to play. No, for those who can't see it, he can't make up his mind who he is this week. He's written the wrong name on the. I bet you rolled a d20 and said odd or even. <laughs> well, if the, depending on how I feel, we might wake up as old guys. Who knows? <laughs> oh. Um, um, I'm already having more fun than this mojo again. At the moment, anyway. So, yeah, but I can change that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I want to attune to this cape. You want to attune to the cape. So you're going to use your long rest to attune to the cape. Uh, yeah. Marvellous. Marvellous. I've sent you the info for that as well, haven't I? Do you have? Awesome. So I ain't got to worry about any of that. Yes. Fantastic. I'll just put my sheet of paper away. I need it. There we go. So, uh, are you going to do it in stages or are you going to rely on the magic hut keeping you safe and warm? I've heard of this one before and uh, it's, it's a sure bet. Sure bet. You get, get your head down and uh, no one needs to take watch or anything. Is that right, yeah, Edda? Is... Yes, that is correct. Yeah. It, is the... it looks like snow from the outside, so we are safe inside. Well, that's all right. Yeah, good. So it could just be good the voice of this guy with really, really bad dandruff, for all we know. Yeah. Well, with Bob's <laughs> smart idea of smashing up ice, I just well, we can have the a same... fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's one snowball fight I don't want to, to get cut by shards of ice. Well, oh, I I'm not built like you, Mojo. Well, I wouldn't make it that there was any shards of ice like that would hurt you. I like to make the big fluffy, uh, big fluffy bear snowballs. We'll find some, we'll probably see some when we go outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If Drago hey. was a one, I'd, I'd fight Drago with a snowball fight. <laughs> hey, he's a snowman. No. He's a yeah. don't want, I don't want to play with the snow. I want to just leave me alone. Let's play. make a snowball. No, well, no. Yeah, snow, snow dwarf is faster, actually. Yeah, it's shorter. Do, do not play the snowballs inside the hut. The hut is very small. Yes. <laughs> And where would there be snow in this hut? Well, it'd still be on the floor, wouldn't it? Because it, 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 it only makes a dome. 
this is I, I choose a down and nothing c- comes in. Right. But it's the floor still the floor. Oh. I'm assuming. We're all right in here. I'm, I'm getting me a down. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, very good. They, run, they, they go good in, night. They big heady women. Oh, good yeah. night, Your Majesty. Oh, Bob, shut up. If but I what? had the socks now. So, while you're all deep in sleep, uh, I'll do Drago first, as he's not here. Because um, he can watch it next week and get some understandings from it. Maybe, possibly, who knows. While Drago, while Drago sleeps, his mind is filled with a thunderous storm. Lightning crashes and thrashes. In between what bursts of light and crashes of sound there seem to be words hidden within the elements. But unfortunately, you can't quite make out what's being said. Uh, that'll be him. Cool. Uh, move on to Mojo. Why not? So while Mojo, while Mojo goes to sleep, and he starts to dream, the outline of a Goliath figure starts to take shape in his mind. As he is, you dirty, rotten, pony, Goliath, were you done? What are you done? I don't know what you're talking about. Out comes, you're out there, and I'm in here. I don't know. I, I, I thought I was out here, out here, and I thought you'd be here, out here with me. I don't know what happened. Well, you're out there, and I'm stuck in here. And I'll be honest, I don't want to be stuck in here. It's cold, it's dark, it's bloody empty. I know. I've been there before. It's not nice. But why were you here? You were here to guide me to be a Grey Warden, right? Yeah. So and why am I here? So why well, am I here? I didn't ask to come out. I just, I don't know what happened. I, I remember breaking through the glass uh, and I thought you was about to die. And as I went to attack one of their things that were attacking you, there was just this big flash in that, and then I woke up here. I don't know. We've got to go and see if we can find somebody that knows something about this, because it's blooming ridiculous in here. You could have at least put up some curtains or something. It's bloody drafty. Well, sorry, brother, but I don't. I want you to be you to be here, but I, I'll be honest, I don't want to be dead anymore. I, I, I want to be here with with you and a magic man, a muscle man, and 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 Bob, who's my friend and a king. Boy, a bloody Bob. And that weird looking thing that eats all that weird horrible stuff. That linworm. That linworm, fella. Yeah, no, and, and stop being so bloody nice to Bob. Bloody pain in the arse, Bob. Well, Bob's <laughs> my friend. He was always my friend. I don't know why you don't like him. He was a pain in the ass. Regularly. Yeah, regularly. but that's just Bob. And you we, are, are, we are who we are, and we are what we are. Kindred spirits in what you do, Mojo. Kindred spirits. He was a pain in the ass. You're a pain in the ass. I oh, know. But he also made... No one made me laugh as much as uh, as Bob ever did. And uh, so at that time, when that little thing started running up and Jock kicked him in the face, it's one of the funniest oh. things I've ever seen. I'll be honest. I, 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 I wish I'd have been there to see that. I, oh, I really, it was really funny. Really, it was funny. I really, really do. I fancy meeting. I fancy meeting this little known fella. But... Oh, he, he was a nice guy, but he turned out to be a, a bit of a bastard in the end, which is one of the reasons why me and Bob ended up touching his stuff, because he nicked something off us. But did he nick something because you stuck his stuff first? Uh, probably. Who cares? 
There's only, 20, there's only 29 episodes here. So. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Look, right. Get your damn rest. You're going to wake up in the morning. Right. When you get to that freaking bank circle, we're going to sort this out. Please. All right. But, but, but before we do, a quick lullaby. And it's your favourite, bruv. We like my fire. Your love is my only desire. Mojo, do you have an inspiration? Uh, yeah, I've still got one. Oh, I've never used it. I've got to give That's him right. one. I've got to give him one. Cheers, anyway. <laughs> would have given yeah. him one. I like that. Um, uh, oh, who do we fancy doing? It's for continuity it. purposes. <laughs> oh, I liked it. It's fun. Uh, let's do and. I warp again. Sorry. I'm asleep. I just had to throw that in there. Time warp. <laughs> just said, let's do. Time you bloody time. Again. You bloody time warp. Uh, Sing Barbie. Which girl. one is it this time? Mojo or Holgoff singing? <laughs> oh, it's never. It, if there's no alcohol involved, it's never ever hold off. Unless there's no alcohol involved. It was, it was always, it was Mojo's always the Mojo. singer. Always Mojo. Mojo's yeah. the singer. Holgoff's the dancer. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's the, there's a difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. So as we will move on to uh, and next. And a roll me a d20. 14. Cool, okay. Dark shadows shroud a face. You look closely. Closer. Even closer. The face is familiar, but you can't quite make it out. All apart from a pair of dark green eyes. You're on a 14. Yeah, there you are. Oh, well, I suppose I'll move on to Bob. <laughs> I write one out for all of you. I write one out for all of you, so. Well, all, all, all behind Linverm, because. Yeah. yeah. As Bob sleeps, a bright, a bright light shines. Almost as if it's uh, shining from the grey haven itself. Apply your mind. Use your strength. Be ever so kind for this adventure's length. If you stay true, I'll remain with you. Stray from your path and it all goes to poo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob's mind, remember? It's Bob's mind. No, boo, no. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything else that would really you and you and you sort of thought boo, fuck it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think write some fucking bullshit for you guys. Tonight. That's right. good. Um, I mean, you appreciate. Thanks. I, I like the balance between serious and and immature. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's great. It's great. <laughs> oh, so it's just just me in it. As the morning starts to draw in, the light starts to beam in through the front of the through the front of this cavern entrance. The hail now subsided, the sun sort of beats down on the snow and glistens around this icy cavern around you. We do the full eight hours as the as the tiny hut just disappears. A cool breeze whistles over you while you're still laying there. Cozy and asleep. Uh, I'll uh, wake up first. 
as uh, <laughs> one who's not as affected by the cold as everyone else. But I wake up first because my tummy's rumbling. And I, oh, oh, shit. Oh. oh, well, that's gone then. Okay, well, we we'll go up there with a the, little oh, ball. Bob, I go up and start uh, gently start shaking Bob because I can see he's shivering in his in his sleep. Uh, Bob, uh, Majesty, hey, 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 hey. Uh, so oh. are you? Uh, the uh, the the heart's gone now. We it's it's a bit cold. I saw you freezing cold. There, you shivering. Wow. You can uh, uh, there's time I think to wake up. And when you get some right. some try and get some breakfast in. Right, it's a good idea that, mate. You got what are you, what are you cooking then? What are you doing for us then? Well, I've I've got uh, got some rations still, but ah, uh, I was boring that. I know because uh, I'm like you. We love our sausages and our bacon. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, yeah. Man, do, 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 right. We do love them. Well, uh, you're going to get frostbite on your feet at the moment, so I suggest you go put your boots on. And I'm going to go wake up a uh, magic man, a muscle man, and see uh, what they think we should have for breakfast. Huh. All right, mate. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. A good idea. Right, and I'll go up to, to Ander. Uh, we can... Magic man, wake up. Uh... Why is it shine? <laughs> <laughs> Woldy. Woldy. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Um, the hut's gone. Uh, ah. We, so it's been I'm hours. hungry. I, I'm hungry, and obviously Bob's hungry because he's always hungry. Uh, what should we do about breakfast? Because we're a bit low on food, and hey, rations. Um, I don't think we're going to cut it at the moment. I think didn't we salvage um, the f- meat for three for three days from that for salamander. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, then. Well, I'll go tell... If you go and get uh, uh, Muscle Man up, and I'll go tell uh, Bob the good news that we said that... Just remember, we got that that meat. All right, will do. There you go. Hey, Bob, <laughs> we've got that yeah. meat from that salamander. We can have that for breakfast. Oh, yeah, that's, that's all right. Yeah, bit of salamander meat. You ever had it? Uh, no. Oh, lovely. Lovely, had it. Had yeah. It. When I was a boy, yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Go on and do like talking. I will make up Muscle Man. <laughs> no, 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 no. As, as you sort of look over it and you can see, he says, Don't worry, I'm already awake. It's not a problem. And he's dead. Push ups. <laughs> And Mojo's just sitting there next to Bob uh, around the, the little uh, the little fire or something we just made ready for things to be cooked. Just sitting there like a pet child. Like, I want my red food. I want my red food. <laughs> Who's cooking breakfast? What's... Blooming legends cooking oh. the breakfast. Hurry up, you. Yeah, I, I wouldn't advise Mojo cook, uh, cooking Mojo, uh, bre- breakfast, saying he's never had before. Question, which one are you talking to? Uh, um, the actual yeah. one I attended or the actual one that's... <laughs> no, no, I'm talking, I'm talking to the orange one. Not, not you, Adam. I've got much more respect for you than that. <laughs> oh, I'm just digging this guy out. He, it's all looks at you, looks back, starts rubbing his bow. Ah, uh, well, looks like I'm cooking it up. Who's got the meat then? I think we got three portions each, don't we? Right. You got, you got, just, you've got enough meat in your bags for three days worth of food. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, here you, go, here you go. I'll get it off, out of mine because it just uh, relinquishes some weight in case I have to carry Bob on my back. So we'll, yeah, we'll use what I've got in my own for now. Here we go, Bob. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, it's frozen. Yeah, who's got the cooking pot then? I got a cooking. I got a cooking pot. Oh, I'll give it here then. Let's just get it on. Come on, I'm blooming, starving. Yeah, right. give, give it here then. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you waiting around for? I, I will put it on because I need this more than you need. 
for mm. other stuff more than you cooking food. Well, I'm going to break it, am I? You ready? I'm going to break it, yeah? Yes. 167, 168 uh, years. He's never breaking a pot in my life. Yes, because probably someone didn't give you a pot. <laughs> no, that's why Bill was to cook, not you. Fair shout. Yeah, well, well, and yeah. I will place the pot on just, the makeshift fireplace. So yeah. as, the, as the fire gets done and you sort of make a little A frame out of some twigs and sticks or whatever it is that you manage to find hanging the pot over the top. Putting the salamander meat in there. Now the salamander meat is, I mean, it's still cold to the touch. Bearing in mind it came off of this frost salamander as you cook it in. The water of it almost disappears. Um, or as, as the water sort of boils off, the meat sort of shrivels and creates this small, dry, almost jerky type meat. No. Oh. Right, it's a bit for you, bit, bit for you. And you. Limbo, you, you want any of these? No. You, as you look over at Limbo, you can see he's got a lump of the eggshell that you saw from the night before. He must have scavenged it as you were running out from the shards of land. sort of just licking the leftover embryo. Oh, disgusting. Right. Thank you very much, Bob, your highness. Thank you. Please, thank you. Are you, are you all right? You're welcome. Yeah, it's a it's an honour and a privilege to have a king cook cook a meal for you. That's right, that's right. You you you, how you pull that face at me, Anna? Right, you, face. You, you show show some respect, like 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 young Mojo does here. There's the one. Imagine Drago doing his um push ups, and every time he goes down, he takes a chunk of meat out and sort of eating it. It'll probably be easy while doing one-handed push-ups. They're like a blooming animal. I suppose he doesn't have someone like hold the meat there so he doesn't sit up so every time he comes out. <laughs> that could be one. Yeah, you know, like, well, like, for the meal. It is very good, no? Plenty of protein in that is great. Very nice. Um, well, why don't you sit up like everyone else? Stop eating like a blooming animal. <laughs> Man, I must. What do you think I must do to maintain this physique? You know, if not every day you can look like me. You know, if I stop exercising and eat as much, I look like you. Yeah. Well, well you go well, down in size. Yeah. Oh, just this, Bob. <laughs> this what, Bob? Right? If you remember, eat, I don't eat the same way that uh, that muscle man does, right, Drago? And that, but if you remember. I beat him in, a, in that battle right when we all first met. Uh, I'm stronger than him. That's and right, Drago. That's right, Drago. You remember that, right? You're not in this, but I am very much stronger now. He's big, big, big stronger. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. No. Yes. Well, yeah. We play this game. Yeah, no, it's all loser to me. If... What was what was Holgarth's strength? Hundred. No, no, what, what, what was the uh, what, what was the big number? Not the plot, not the bonus. What was the big number? Uh, seventeen. Yeah, the it's, it's Drago is stronger. Drago is eighteen. Okay. Yeah, he was. Uh, he, he, he lost the bleeding fight, though, didn't he? Yeah, we're, talking about Mojo, yeah, we're talking about Mojo, really. He lost, the, he lost to Mojo. Remember, Mojo's now in Holgarth's body. Um, I know, but I'm just saying, but it still doesn't change the fact that Mojo himself is stronger than Drago. Uh, Talk about all this, just makes if me... I can, if I have time, can I use the pot to go make two temporary potions? No, no, not unless you take a long rest now. Because one potion, short rest, long rest, two potions. Yeah, I'm on how to put that bleeding thing in my bloody freezing up. I'll keep that, I'll keep that in mind for. For next time, always, always messing around with your bleeding magic. What do you mean, doodles? What do you mean, doodles? I, I, I agree with you there, Bob. Uh, however, you know, you never know if and when we're going to need it, and so it is always best for magic man to have 
some potions are ready for us, just in case. I know it's a pain and it's cold, but we really should move on. And sooner we get somewhere better at that, then we can, he can do it. Well, I, I thought you didn't like magic. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't, but yeah. I have to get used to it. Go and get used to it. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. Well, I've got a bit of magic, you know. Look, yeah, look at it, this sword. Look, magic sword. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that's uh, amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Huh. It, you know, I feel of... like while we're listening to our talk, is it? Look, magic sword. Touchy about Bob's head. Light. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look, I'm a bleeding light bulb. How often do you have to, how does this whole attunement work then? Like, because obviously I attuned to it. That's it, you're attuned now. So you're attuned. That's it. Oh, well, I'll say stand use, uh, you, can use, you can now use the cape. But okay. you can't you can't say oh, I'm gonna take a long rest, I'm gonna you know tune to this. Um but I wanna do all of this stuff as well. It's just like it's like one thing I'm gonna tune to that, that's it. That's you're gonna to tune to it. But remember you can only have three magical items at one time. So if you've got to the point that you're attuned to three items now, which I don't think you are, you're only attuned to my first second. Um, second why? Amulet. Not amulet. So oh, I've got the amulet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do you know? I forgot all about the amulet. Just to just to clarify with the attunement. So I've got, I'm attuned to Weaver's Edge. Yep. Attuned to my amulet. Mm -hmm. And what else? Anything else? I don't think so. No, there, there isn't anything else. No, you're right. Yeah, Adder, I'm, I'm, Adder, is, Adder is attuned to his amulet and all of the damn the tree end sticks. Yeah. But it's as he clicks it all together, it's one stick. So it's one attunement. Yeah. It just increases and changes with magical abilities each time. How many bits you got now? Three. Three at a moment. Right. Mm. Three. So, three. Yeah, I got three. Three. Yeah, three. And leave me alone my fingers. <laughs> Yeah, so you're just gonna, painting on um you can achieve you can take the knives you can, yeah, you and um the cash guy or any human. Hmm, how can I add yeah. this to my attunement list? And you can customize it. Yeah, I'll do that some other time. Right, hey, you know, what we doing it then you the last thing I remember. There's a bleeding dead end down here. Definitely a dead end. Yeah. Where somebody decided he wanted to break the cave. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks like to go back out and climb up that, that even the mountain or cave. Right. Go further up. Well, uh, I don't remember no. No, uh, I remember. Uh, I don't remember no, no going any route up. Was there, was there another route up? Was it? Another route up? Was there that? Mister Voice in the Sky. Was there a route up? So yeah, there there was. The, the route continued up the outside. You guys chose to go in the cave. Ah, uh, I, I thought I thought it was this was this was the end. I didn't see that route going continuing up. Didn't see that. Imagine the missed it. Imagine be be me old age. Right, yeah. I mean, as 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 you sort of poke your head out of the front of this this small uh, this small cave, you can see that the pathway still sort of continues off and then meanders up the side of the mountain. I still see shadows in the sky. Or if you want to roll us, do you want, if you want to have a look, you can have a roll as a detection on it. Yeah, that's fine. You might, you might learn a little bit more. As a 17. That's pretty good. So as, yeah, I mean, as you sort of look out in the morning, some sort of catches your eye with a little bit of a squint, you sort of look up and start to gaze. 
you can see that the shadows, all all of all of those um, silhouettes flying around the top of the mountain are all still there. Um, but now you can start making out what the shapes are. Um, one giant, huge, maybe a hundred feet wingspan flying or flying around at the top, just looping around the top of the mountain. And then around it, flittering and fluttering, maybe a few more smaller, younger dragons. And yeah, so as you look up, and because I know, because I know the reference, as you look up, you can see there is a huge thunder of dragons now flying around the top of the mountain. Because that's what it's called. Yeah. Fair mm. uh, enough. You learn something, you might as well use it. Yeah, fair enough. Do Is I it? depict the typings of what I rolled or a bit too bit too far away to make out the, the colorings of them, but you now know that they're dragons. Cool. All right. You you're all right there, I know you know you know it is going. Well, you know those things that we're casting the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. I d- d- just deduced them to be dragons. A bit more right. than just one. Oh. Big. So big. You, what do you reckon? They big or they, all, they, they little baby ones? One big one. Big. And... A f- <laughs> How many? A f- what? The small, little small silhouettes? How many were in there? In the small silhouettes? Oh, I don't know. Let's 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 let the dice decide, shall we? Nineteen. Yep, uh, nineteen little ones. Uh, oh, balmy. Yeah. So let's try be careful. Well, uh, you reckon we should go up there, or you reckon we should turn around and go somewhere else? Well, we did promise a, the dragon lot to go get this artifact away from. Right. Yeah. Right. The arch demon, because if we do face the arch demon, then he has this. This dragon's eye, both myself and Linworm are under his control. All right, well, we don't want that. We don't want that. <laughs> Hope not. Well, what are we waiting for then? We're going to get up there or no? Yeah. Well, that's the plan. Well, I'm just following everyone because I ain't got a bloody clue where we, what we're doing. You're all right, mate. Joe, stick with me. And, and uh, um, uh, you, uh, you, you'll be all right. Maybe. I mean, okay. Yeah. yeah, stick with me, mate. Don't you worry. Okay. So you're going to start making your way out there, continue meandering up this mountain. Yes. So in the more in the morning sun as you start walking the 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 snow on the outside the, the outskirts of this mountain on this path slowly starts to melt. So you're 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 walking on easy terrain at the moment. Although it's still very, very cold, but you are slowly making your way up higher, higher, higher. You start to feel the air to get thick and bob moustache starts to solidify again in the chill. The bottom of his beard now starts to sort of stiff again as he sort of scratches it and loads of flakes of ice sort of drop onto the floor. The air start, the air, the, the air around you starting to thin, your breath starting to show. But the higher you get, the more noises you start to hear screeches and roars from the dragons that fly around the top of the mountain it's like, as they continue as they continue to loop around the top of this mountain 
as one almighty roar just sort of lets out a <laughs> as the huge shadow just drops overhead, almost swooping down to within a hundred feet of you as it glides down the bottom of the mountain, just randomly firing off. As it starts to come round, if you want to roll me a perception check. Oh, 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 oh. That one. <laughs> 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 this is funny, but he does it. So, two. Oh, I've rolled a 19. 23. Lovely. So, as this, as this giant white dragon sort of swoops down and builds sort of gliding around the mountain below you. On the top of its back, you can see a humanoid-sized figure riding on it. It's not the right time to be singing, really, is it? No. Don't you make your noise down. Well, oh, that stupid Bennett is biting us again. If he think, if I, if it is who I think it is, you want to keep a low profile, boy, I tell you. Tell you. Isn't that right, Adder? As the dragon starts now to swoop. being a more smarter thing. As the dragon starts to swoop. Sorry. As the dragon starts to swoop. Would you all wrong me dexterity saving throws, please? <laughs> Dex saving. I told you, Dexter. Bob's going to die. No, what? That's an, oh, that's an 18. Oh, fuck off, did you just get a nat 100%. one? 100%. Back back? Yeah, honestly, it, this isn't a new thing. This, ha this has been happening the whole time. Well, I know time. it's not a new thing, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, but there's unlucky. There's fucking dearest. Well, I'm, I, I, I tell, I, I'm going to do this, Dan. So um, I'm just going to mark this because I can. That in 30, this is episode 34. In 34 episodes, that is your 25th net one. Is that it? I thought I would have had more than that. Just like even I thought he would have had more than that. No, just, 20, just 25. No, oh. maybe we're like, you had lots of low rolls, but 25. Net oh, ones. okay, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. But 25 net ones that is that is number 25. Sort of a... I can't believe you've been tallying them up. Yeah, well, at the end of this, I'm going to give awards for the most at twenties and the most. Oh, nice. Yeah, and 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 I'm I'm odds on to get the most lovable character for Mojo. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, the really character, the, char the character, the DM was happy enough killing. So what's happening then? No, you you was reluctant to kill him off. Well, you. Do. You chose to kill him what off. What was I doing? Well, I, 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 I chose to kill him off. <laughs> with the dexterity the throw, as the, as, the, as, the dra as the dragon flies around the outside of the, 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 the side of this mountain, um, letting rip, not directly at you, but just letting rip onto the side of the mountain just to shatter and blow up debris of ice. Um, actually, not too bad. Uh, Bob, you're only going to suffer four points of cold damage. And um, with, your, with your little talisman, there's only two in it. <laughs> yeah, it's two. So it's only two. It's only two for Mo. Well, Mojo's only two because he passed, and then he'll suffer one. And and uh, what did you roll? I got. I didn't tell you what my what my saving throw was, did I? Yes. Oh, yeah. I got told 19. Yeah, so, yeah, it's fine. So you, you yeah, did. Cool. What was yours, Ander? 18. Yeah, so you passed as well. So it's take four <laughs> and then half it for you because you got the cold, cold one as well, didn't you? No, I got a lightning one. Ah, you suffer all four then. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, no, you passed two. Yeah. And Mojo suffers one. It's almost like not worth it. Yeah. But yes, as all the, as all the, as all this 
sleep with it. Snow, ice and debris shatter off of the side of the mountain. Trees break as they start to now roll down the hillside, clattering onto a ledge below. Oh, I don't know what to look at these boys! Is that no, they're going to go attack more if you carry on shouting. Oh, no! Oh, no. I will try freezing. bolting, but as like pick up the pace so we don't get another another he, sight. He's running, getting attacked. Mojo, he's running away. Come on, we got to keep you out with him. <laughs> there you go. He's right, coming. He's okay. I'm coming too. I'm with you. Hurry up, you! Because I am built for pleasure, not speed. <laughs> well, let's just add on to pleasure. <laughs> if you go for speed. See, so, yeah, I'm, I'm built for speed, not pleasure. That's the same way. I'm built for pleasure, not speed. <laughs> oh, Matt, if you watch this back. Um, so as you start to now, you're now, you're now booking it out the side of this mountain. Higher, higher, higher. I mean, you, you, you're literally just circling a peak now as you continue going round. You've probably been, you've probably been travelling up this morning for a good three hours in this solid cold trying to book it. Would you all roll me a survival check? Well, on that twenty. Uh, 11. Okay. 21. All right, that's like two ones together. <laughs> it is, yeah. He's still, he's still throwing ones. He's mocking me. <laughs> the, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Bob. You're all right, mate. The DC was 10. Oh, that's so, good. You're okay. Good, so, as, 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 because it's not freezing cold. So as you're as you're starting to make up, the the air is now getting thinner. You find yourself getting even more lightheaded than Mojo's used to. Um, Probably will try to slow down on feeling lightheaded. So you start you start to reach. I'm going to use a word here: the precipice of the uh, of the mountain. You've been swallowing a dictionary at doing work. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> As you uh, as you sort of get to the top, right on the peak. The, I mean, the, the peak of the mountain is still uh, a good 100, 150, 200 feet disappearing off into the clouds above your head, where the shadows of these uh, dragons are still thundering around. But again, now the shrieks and the roars are loud, almost echoing down, deafening on your ears. Oh, oh. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, you hear that noise? It's bloody loud, that. Eh? <laughs> I bloody felt it. What did you say, Anna? I understand what this, what they're warming about. Uh, it, 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 it's it's uh, as the, the dr draconic side of it. There's no words as such coming from them. It's more um, screams of pain and agony. They're, they're in pain, they're screaming in agony. No, they're not oh, saying anything. Well, that's not so, good. whoever's riding them is causing them much pain. Oh, oh no, we've got to help the dragon. That's right. Do not, no matter if they, they well, this is what I reckon. I don't reckon if we uh, focus. On any of the dragons, I reckon we uh, we kill that that stupid bastard that's riding him. I, I totally agree with you, Bob. Because we've got to make sure that no harm comes to the dragons, and then if the dragons know that we help them, then the dragons might be all right. That's, that's the one that's, that's exactly what well, I'm I've been reading my mind. Yeah, yeah. I've been reading my mind. Yeah. yeah. The Bob and Mojo team back together. Bit, bit, bit magic, magic in your in your boy. 
Yeah. The magic in you. It's like they say, great minds think alike, but to be fair, your mind is probably greater than mine. I don't have a great mind. It is right, yeah. Yeah, it is right. <laughs> and Martin, <laughs> help me I'll go off with you. I've got two two heads in one. As you get as you get up to this this area now, it sort of opens out, makes uh, a, a flattened area now. In front of you, there's a few trees, very sparse because of the sort of the the, the temperatures that are up so high. Greenery is not something that really survives up here. Um, you look in front of you, and what you see one huge cavern. The the opening to it possibly a hundred. 150 feet high cavern, maybe 100 feet wide, buried into the peak of this mountain. As this giant white dragon sort of grabs hold of the side of the peak, you see this small humanoid silhouette jump off and start to make his way down as he stands high upon a peak. That's where I'm going to get you guys to roll for initiative after the break. I see a little silhouette of a wanker. So as you start to approach on this open this open land, what's the marching order? Oh, I got it here. Full show. Uh, I think Anders should has more of an idea where he's going. Mojo don't know where he's going. So if Bob's at the rear, I would say... Either Mojo goes directly behind Ander and then have Drago, uh, or have Ander, Drago, then me, Lindvern, and then Bob. I think I went in front because I said I will speed up. You were trying to book it. Yeah. And so it'll be probably be me in front. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. And then we'll stick old Garth for them. Oh, you have Mojo, the other guy. Yeah, Mojo. I might look like old girl by Mojo. Um, I'll tell you what, Lindworm can go out the back. <clears throat> Could we push Lindworm off a cliff? Of him, he's eating, he's eating habits that are really disturbing. They, they are very disturbing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a bit unusual. Here yeah. we go. Are you ready? This is. I think this is. I think this is officially the biggest map I've done. I be ready for anything. I wrote map. <laughs> I be king. Oh fuck it, no, that's cool. That's really oh, cool. I love the texture on the floor. Yeah, that's really good. So Very nice. Yeah, this is this is this is this is the full size area. This is this is the biggest map that I've done. So. Um, I seen a giraffe. Yeah, I just <laughs> noticed it as soon as you said it. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. I seen Jeffrey from last week, so I thought, why not? <laughs> Got me done. So, um, as you land, as you land, as the giant uh, white dragon lands and perches apart upon the side of this, upon the side of this peak the humanoid figure sort of floats down and lands and perches himself on top of rock. <laughs> I finally see you have made it to me. Took your time, didn't you, you boobs? <laughs> Who the fuck yells that? Who are you bloody Who calling that? a boob, you pillow? <laughs> Who is he? Oh, I don't know him. Who what is it? He's a blooming pillow. That's all you need to know. you got to do him in. Does Mojo know him or re remember him? Was he? Did we not have the first encounter uh, with him? When no, no, no. Like you know, we've had nothing to do. No, with him I, well, I didn't think so. I wasn't sure. He killed you. Who the bloody that? And why does he look? He looks like he needs a meal inside of him. He looks all bony. While right. the while while you all seem to be talking and uh, <laughs> rabbiting on, he lifts a red jewel and holds it high in the sky. The light glistens so bright, almost making you squint as you continue to look at him. And uh, almost instantly, in the back of your mind, you hear a voice. Please, not again. Grey Wardens, help us. We are killing each other. 
instantly I would just cast magic missile. After hearing that, Excellent. I'll just cast magic missile. It's like how you try and fire something at him and, uh, at his arm, like with his arm and try and knock it out. Yeah, of you, out of just you. in general, just magic missile. Cool. Go on. And that will be when we roll for an issue. Sorry, I forgot my pencil. Hmm. What's happening? You shooting him, Ada? I'm just waiting for him. Oh, to um, so that is. So I don't at level one. That will be fourteen points of force damage. Okay, go for me. As he's, it, as he's magic missiles fly across the fly across the field, you suddenly see these steel wings sort of shape around his body. And I know it's an automatic hit. So we'll take that into account. Can we all roll for initiative, please? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> what are you doing that for, and are we going to bloody talk to you? We're going to do a chat and that, talk it out that way. You didn't hear what I heard in my head. Right. Oh, right. Well, I tried to chat, so, you know. <laughs> Many wouldn't. <laughs> not, not, uh, oh, you're going to do your thing, aren't you? Oh, mate, that's brilliant. Right, okay. I can ask for better there. <clears throat> 20 and above. Awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. 15 to 20. 16. 19. Wow, Mojo's way down the thing. So, Bob with a 19. Was that and with a 16? Yeah, 16. Yeah, and me. We both got a 16. Okay. Uh, dexterity modifiers. Uh, mine's plus one, so I've got 17. Um, I've got plus three on my dex. Cool. And as first. And then when he turns up, I will put him in the routine. Marvellous. Now for the good news. Skeletal face goes first. No. Face. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, need, need my phone because I need to get his sheet up. Marvellous. Okay, because I like a little bit of nostalgia. Um, you see him, he, he sort of, while holding the gem in one hand, he pulls out his staff and he starts to wave it. The end of his staff starts to glow a vibrant red as it sort of flickers with fire. As he points here, the first person in the front of the queue, which is poor old uh, Ander. Oh, and no. And he casts... Firebolt! Oh. Uh, and that will be uh, uh, an 18 to hit. I'd like to use a reaction. For what? To defend him. Do you have to be within a certain amount of feet? Oh, not for this one, mate. Go on, then. I cast... Where is it? <laughs> runic shield. Okay. And what does runic shield do? Uh, you have to re-roll a d20 and use the new roll. You have to use a new, so it could be really shit, but. I have to use the new roll. You have okay. to. Okay. It's, it's, it's cool. Cause I, I, I rolled another 18. 
All right. I thought you were going to say, yeah, I rolled nat 20. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, 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 rolled, I rolled another 18. Yeah, no, oh, it's... The, no, di- no. the dice didn't even freaking roll. Um, <laughs> and wow, good start. That is D10 fire damage. And that will be nine points of fire damage to get us underway. And that is all he's going to do, except for now. You see him pick up, raise up, lift up high the dragon, the dragon's eye as it gl- as it glows and flickers in a vibrant red. And with a flap and a flourish. Oh, dirty creature. And that will bring us to Bob. I call upon James And Bob's going to use his, oh, his bonus action. Right. And uh, he's going to use um, – sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? <laughs> Move full distance straight out into the middle towards the, the beast. Oh, my God. Dash action. Yes. <laughs> and uh, that's all Bob's going to do. Like, that was trying to climb that there, weren't it? <laughs> oh, I want to run out into the middle. <laughs> oh, my, my little legs won't take me this far. <laughs> Come on, right, boys, I'm bleeding that good. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. Going, come on, lads, for Frodo. I'm oh, sorry, wrong, <laughs> wrong franchise. <laughs> oh, man, you want it. Wrong franchise. <laughs> oh, for God. Asgard. I mean, nope. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. <laughs> and uh, it's you. I would like to move my full. Distance towards skeletal skeletal bone face. Yeah, skeletal bone face. Bone face, not bone face. What is your full movement? Thirty. Um, thirty feet. Or you think is it? Big board, this huge board. To give it, to give you some sort of relative uh, idea, that's ninety feet. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm just gonna go full on veil at this motherfucker because he's. Because oh, me knowing that he's messing with my kind of people. Sure. Um, I'm going to go use a sorcerer's point and cast Scorching Ray at level five. Get bigger. Get bigger. So that's one, 120 feet. Well in range. Was it level and the five? staff is a pl- the staff gives me plus five. Yeah, was it le- but it's level five? Yeah, level five. So I get so so it's gonna be six beams of ray. For first beam is a 21 to hit. I wasn't going to do this this early, but I think I'm going to because I feel like being a dick. Go on then. 
I'm going to use a level five dispel. Am I allowed to go doing it to you as well? Ooh, I, I mean, I level five dispel. If you want to dispel my dispel, now you now you now you're talking some serious shit. Oh, yeah, I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm full on pissed. But if you want to try and dispel my dispel, have you got a level five dispel? No, I've got a level four dispel. I can no. use level four. So no, you, you can lose a level four dispel, but you have to roll a d twenty. That's fine. I'm willing to do that. So roll your d roll your d twenty. Yep. Well, now I've got to get my book out because I can't remember what you got wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have a clue at this point. DC is oh, equal to. I just take the player's word for it. Ten plus. <laughs> oh, really? Um, <laughs> spell level. <laughs> Ten plus spell level. Yeah, yeah. So the spell level. The spell level is five, so he's got to roll fifteen or more. And I got a lucky sixteen. <laughs> yes. So he dispels my dispel. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I could dispel his dispel. You can do. No, it's only one reaction now. Mm. Yeah. Your reaction yeah. to dispel my scorching ray. But he might have legendary actions. I do have lots of legendary actions. <laughs> there you go. It's up to you, you know. if you want to. Nah, you're all right. I played the game once. I did it. Go on, carry on. I will save my spell slots. I've got some evil shit. So I'll save them. It's fine. So that's the first way. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. um, does it add on to damage as well, um, the staff? No. Just hits. Cool. It was just sure it was the casting, yeah. All right, so that's six points of fire damage from the first one. Fire number two. Um, a thirteen. This is cool. A seventeen hits. Um, for nine points of fire damage. Okay. Um, for a thirty to hit. Wow. Yes. For six points of fire damage. Mm-hmm. I've, got two, I've got two more. Um, for another 30 to hit. Yeah. And for seven points. I see why I tried to dispel this one. And final one. Is a 21. All right, hits. Oh, yes. Um, for eight points of fire damage. Absolute beast. So that is a total of 36 points of damage. Cool. No, Nowhere near the 100 plus damage that you dealt <laughs> last session. Well, because I, <laughs> I used something super effective. Yeah. So I Pokemon. Super effective. Critical hit and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Lindworm? Lindworm? No. Not here. Lindworm? There's the other scaly guy in it. <laughs> I thought you were joking then as well. No. Cool. Great. Ray, Ray's point. offended. In that case, Mo. Oh, yeah. Mo. <laughs> Joe. 
But I think I would like to go the other way and have a cheeseburger. Please. My guy, I'm bleeding, Howard. Get out of here. I really don't want, I want a burger. Yeah, I want as, a burger. As Bob's, as Bob's um, frozen mid spring. I'd like to travel. Right, how fast 40 feet are you going to get me? Mm. How far is 40 feet going to get you? Yeah. yeah. Standing next to Amber. Well, slightly in front, anyway. That ain't me, though, is it? That's not. You're going to be even worse. Don't worry about that. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. This isn't the dragon he was on, though, was it? No. Oh, yes, no. Young <laughs> I don't want to. You know, I don't want to hurt the dragon. Um, right, I'm going to get my javelin. What's the distance on your javelin? 30. 30? Yeah. Never going to get there. Is it not? Well, no, you're, you're 60 feet away from... Because you don't want to hurt the dragon, right? You're going for bone face. <laughs> is that, that's not the dragon, is it? That he, um... No, it's not. Well, there's 60 feet. Does right. he just roll well, disadvantage? Not... Oh, no, you got <laughs> him! You got him! Yeah! <laughs> you didn't care! You got I him! I just just being Oops. bone face, not bone face, in the, in the, in the imaginary game of Jewel, of Jewel from Gladiators. I've just knocked him off his bogey. <laughs> yeah! That's, that's, that's been recorded. There's evidence for that. Now. I saw. <laughs> Jackpot! He <laughs> just slipped. He just slipped. Yeah, well, it is I. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just get uh, dumb brutality. <laughs> uh, oh, he fell off. All I did was fart. Right, hey, so... Right, so that's not the dragon. Basically, the dragon that has landed has been summoned by him. Yeah, but, like, yes, does, don't you have to... Right. You can still throw the spear, but it's at disadvantage, isn't it? It is, yeah, but I want to know what his max is. I think it's 100... Ah. I think the max is 120. Well, I'll, I'll launch the javelin at this dragon then. What's your, what's your max? Yeah, it'll have a little number and then a big number. The little number in brackets is 120. Yeah, so 120 is your max. So anything over 30, you just throw with disadvantage. So I can throw my javelin at bone face, not bone face. Yeah, yeah. Skeleton bone face. But it'll be it. But it'll be it. Skeleton. <laughs> or bony tool, I don't care. You know, actually, tour. I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a crack now. I'm going to throw my javelin at both face, not both face, but still both face. Okay, well, I'm going to be really, really, really mean here. And so you can't, from where you are currently standing, you can't see both face, not both face. No! Because there is a, <laughs> there, between you and both face, not both face, <laughs> so there is a freaking thing. dragon. You're trying to make us not hit. <laughs> you don't want to hit a dragon, but you're making us want to. <laughs> there is a dragon in between. Like directly in the path, there's Jack or I could do about it. It's right there. I mean, it's not a big dragon, but it's still a good 20, 20. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do then. Well, as soon as you move me there, I don't want you to move me there. I want to use me 40 feet up towards the uh, you know, where your little white arrow is of where the one of the columns to the entrance of the cave is there, up there, please. Thank you. Now I'll throw me bloody javelin at the fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Be more specific next time. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'll launch me javelin. I, I launch me javelin, I will. I throw me javelin. At disadvantage. At disadvantage, right. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, so we have a uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, uh, so 20 to hit. What, disadvantage? Well, yeah, because my other one with my plus six on modifier, I think would have given me 21, so it's only gone down by one. Fair enough. Continue. Let's hit. Uh, my damage now is... 
Nine points of damage. I'm going to ask you again, are you sure? Right. It's 1d6 plus 3 piercing damage. Oh. I've taken note. Uh, I've only got hand axes to throw and that's maximum six. Yeah, I'm not going to throw my hand axes. I'll, yeah, that'll be my movement then. That'll be my, my turn. Awesome. I could be really mean to you, and I think I'm gonna. Oh. Yeah, you, you, have, are. you have no more javelins left. Yeah, I know that. I only have the one. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no it's it's in, when you started, you had three. That one, that? That, that one that's just disappeared up to bone face. Yeah. That was your last one. So you now have no more javelins. You yeah, no more firing items. No more throw well, he's, got his, he's got his hand axes, but I'm going to start penalising for people that don't say, I'm going to pick my stuff up. Who do pick your stuff up? Oh, yeah, um, no, no, fair enough. Fair enough. Never, but yeah, it's fine. Um, Lynn Verm, what are you going to do? Mm. Um, stare at me phone. That's right. All right, Lynn Verm. Oh, we right, need him. Longbow. Yeah, it's all right. I ain't. Lin, Lin, I'm going to take two shots with my bow. Uh, <laughs> that one will hit, and that one won't. That's pretty good. So, without a hunter's mark or anything, one arrow, eight points of piercing damage. There you go. I'm just going to fire two arrows. I don't know any of his spells or anything. I know he's got a hunter's mark. I think that's about it. And now uh, Fina can summon beasts. Yeah, but I'm not doing any of it. So. Oh, yeah, I understand. Just uh, less than two now I can remember. Fine. And then it brings us back to Boneface. Now, Boneface. Boneface. Boneface has. Uh, Yeah, okay. Boneface is going to, first of all, grip the dragon's eye and hold it tight as the young brass dragon turns and faces you. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Maybe later. But it's going to. Oh, that's pretty mean. It's going to just it's going to just take its three attacks on you. <sighs> So, Free. as it takes one chomp with its teeth, with a nat one. Oh, yes. Loses a couple of teeth on that one. Uh, but that will be a 25 to hit with claw number one. Yep. And a 16 to hit with claw number two. Uh, no. So, claw number one is going to do... Well, that's pretty good. Ooh. 17, 21 points of flashing damage. Well, I, I lied. I lied. Ignore me. I read the wrong thing. Oh. You might. It'd be better. Nine. Yeah, yeah, a bit better. 13 points of slashing damage. Oh, that is way better. I read the wrong one. You're all right. Oh, thank you. I've got a lot, mate. I've got so much freaking paper in front of me at the minute. <laughs> um, if I had any sort of area behind... My D, like my DM board, I just I've been <laughs> stuff out of the way. Just um, okay, uh, 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 legendary. No, I'm not doing that. What are you going to do? Hey. What are you actually going to do? Hey. What the fuck in Norton? 
Do you know what? Do you know what? I gave myself that spell. I put that card somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Ah, there it is. Okay, um, because I want to, and I can. With a gentle grasp of the uh, the dragon's eye, and you start to feel a wave of anger coming over you. Dude, I already oh, am pissed off. Yeah, well, you're getting even, even angrier. And uh, would you mind making me a wisdom saving throw, please? But with disadvantage. Oh, okay. Because of the control of the dragon's eye. So powerful. So with disadvantage, I've got a 14. That is a fail. Cool. And you are now charmed by the dragon's eye. Oh, no. And he's right behind me. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, here we go. This companion's fine. If it fails, the saving throw is charmed until the spell ends or until your companions do anything to hurt it. If the charm creature regards a friendly acquaintance, yeah. So you can no longer hurt me. That's great. Take an ander out of the equation. That's awesome. So that's me being dick number one. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and with, well, remember, it's only until you get hurt. And uh, just in time, to join the fight, here he is, because you're going to need him. We need you. Where the <laughs> hell have you been, man? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not late. You're late. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> as, the dragon, as the dragon eye is raised high again, the bright, vibrant light flashes down. And now that I've got somebody else here from the sky. Oh, no. Matt, log off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just oh, want to point out. Dragon, 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 dragon. Yeah, we can see all your bloody dragons. <laughs> and my bad guy contained, my bad guy is using something called the dragon's eye. Think about it. Why oh, do you think man. I bought so many new dragons? Yeah, makes sense. Because you're bald. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to make love to all of them. Um, See, it's now canon. It's on YouTube. Uh, two dragons cast a spell, and his charm. Yep, yeah, no, that's it. That and that will be the end of his turn. And because he's just thrown himself in there, I'll give him a chance to sort himself out and be ready. Um, Bob, it's you. Oh, I'm leaning. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm just going to take out Lindon and put in Drago. Oh. <laughs> right. Bob um, hits his shield and uses his hill rune, which gives him extra protect protection from certain things. And he's going to make his way around oh God, 25 feet of movement. I don't really want to attack these dragons, but he's going to make his way around the brass dragon mm -hmm. to the other side. Can I go under it? I suppose I can go straight under it, can't I? Well, effectively, the dragon's on the floor. It's not actually flying. Oh, okay. It's on the floor. Okay. I'm going to grapple this dragon. I'm going to grapple it. I'm going to grapple the dragon. Oh, yep. my God. You're going to try and grapple a draw brass dragon? Yep. Okay. Come here, you bastard. Oh, that's, that's not Bob, is it? <laughs> it's Jeff. Oh, can, so contested strength. And I get advantage. Just checking anything else on here. No. No, I think you might win this. 
27. Seven. <laughs> yes. So Bob like grabs this dragon by the neck. It's like, come here. I can just imagine headlock. Bob Bob's got a dragon in a headlock. <laughs> So you 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 have effectively grappled a brass dragon. <laughs> yeah. And uh <laughs> oh fucking hell. Right. And um uh I wanna I want to knock it out, but I know you got to reduce uh, HP to zero, which would just be killing it. No, but... no, no. You you can choose non-lethal. So when you get down to like the zero, you can you decide to do a there. clubbing blow as opposed to a stabbing blow. All right, action surge, and I'm going to beat this thing with advantage okay. with the uh, weaver's edge. Okay. Oh, what? A three and a four. <laughs> Twelve, the higher. No, oh, no, no. sorry. Uh, Sixteen, actually, the higher. Because I've got the plus 12, haven't I? Still a miss. Oh, God damn it. What did Again, you ask? Still a miss. Are you serious? A six and a seven? Well, uh, they say uh, Yeah, 19. That's a hit. Yeah, cool. And um, it's a D10, wasn't it? Yeah. D10 plus D6. That is I can't remember my modifier, sorry. Um why has it just done that? Two six. Oh right, okay. So it's uh ten ten slashing damage on the dragon. Okay. Um, and that is that is it. That is it. Cool. Uh, and uh, yes, I'll allow you to make a wisdom saving throw <laughs> with, dis <laughs> with disadvantage. If not, we're going to have some fun. Cool. I got a nat one. Oh, oh no. That would be a fail. Ooh, let's go with a level one magic missile on Mojo. All right. As he's there. No, I'm not really. <laughs> That's, a That's 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage, Mojo. No, yeah. I'm not really here, I promise. <laughs> Tur <laughs> Can you turn Bob so it actually looks like from this angle that he's got a <laughs> headlock? <laughs> yeah, you stupid blooming animal. I'm guessing this is what you got taught when you had love with that dragon kid. Stop talking <laughs> to me and blooming. Just shoot it. Um, okay. I can't. I'm currently controlled by the dragon's eye. <laughs> That's me not trying to met. No, I'm not trying to met again here. Yeah, sorry. Like I created all of this just for you know one 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 night of annoying my friends. Um, then that in that case, as that is Anders go, um, Mojo. And just because you're pissed off, right, doesn't mean you can come in here and beat me up. <laughs> well, Why would I do that? Imagine the door, door slam well, open. Well, Sweet well, open. well. I am going to use. <laughs> 
Oh, fucking dear. draw my character. <laughs> I'm going Why to use I'm doing that? I am not that immature. Hey, Ray, <laughs> I'm about to use something. Sorry. Hold on the first time. No. Go yourself. I'm going to use Cloak of the Bat. <laughs> right. Read what it says. I have. Go on then. I'm reading it now. Uh, now, it's saying if I grip the edges of the cloak with both hands, I can use it to fly at a speed of 40 feet. Mm-hmm. I want to use it to fly closer to the bone face, not bone face, but actually bone face. In, yeah, but in what kind of light? Well, it's saying that if I use it in an area of dim light or darkness, I can cast polymorph on myself, transform me into a bat. Oh my God, he's Dracula. No, he's Batman. Oh, that's really cool. Crazy enough. I was actually watching that earlier. Uh, it says <laughs> right, right at the top, you can grip the edges of the cloak with both hands and use it to fly at a speed of 40 feet. Yes. Uh, yeah, but in an area of dim light or darkness, you can grip the edges of the cloak with both hands and use it to fly. Right at the top. First two lines. Yeah. Well, it's not dark. It's the middle of the morning. And it's a lovely sunny morning. So you can you can oh. grab both things and you can go, we're flying! But you won't go anywhere. I'll do that for comedic purposes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey! No, um, there's, well, I'm limited to what I do because... Uh, um... Well, I thought, I, I thought I'll, I'll give them all these dragons. They'll they fight these dragons. You're all being really nice. <laughs> yeah, because we don't want to antagonise the dragons because it's not their bloody fault. Um, I'm going to travel up to the uh, just the inside corner of the uh, entrance. So right up in there. Yeah, to the opposite one, if it would get me there. Oh, you, won't get that. You, won't, you won't get that far. Well, so, hold on a minute. So if I was to go inside the cave, in the, right, it's going to be dim in there. Can I cast it in there on the next turn? And as soon as you fly it in the light, it'll fail. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so your, your 40 feet gets you to the middle of the entrance of the cave. Well, that's... Uh... You know, when I was making when I was making this up, I, I thought to myself, oh, I'll be able to reach all of that. That's a really long way. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just I'm just thinking now, because even if I get to bone face, not bone face, but still bone face. Um <laughs> it's bone f- it's skeleton bone face. It's bone face. Bone face. I'm sort of thinking, but even it's if I get over to him, how am I gonna get up there? Mm-hmm. Climb. Anybody would think oh, I thought I offered you all of these dragons, but you know, you're just not fighting them. It's not like I could do about that. Well, you're a bleeding headlock, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? Sorry, just, just take me up to that dragon that he's got in there, but this. Oh, I've fucking had enough now. Right, I'm, ra- right, I'm going to rage. <laughs> okay. Rage and get me great axe. This is it. I'm fucking. Right. Hooray! Right, well, yeah. right, that's a 25 to hit. That's 19 plus 6. Mm-hmm. And the dragon is going to take 11 points of slashing damage. Plus 2 for raging. Yep. You're never going to remember that I in a million years. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Well, because like I said, it's the first time I've really been in playing D&D. It's so much to process for a newbie. It really is. You've been um, playing this for six months. <laughs> I know, but I... Yeah, but you have to... Th- I have so much um, for me mind to process in my everyday life with all the shit I have to deal with at the moment. It's hard to remember these little things. Right, second attack. Oh, that's a... Nine plus six is 15 to hit. That is a miss, but you get advantage because it's grappled. Right, okay. Uh, so I'll roll again then. Oh, that's a lot better. 16 plus six, 21, 22 plus yeah. two. That's a hit. 
No, no plus two onto the hit, only to the wound. Oh, no, it's on the damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slashing, all right. Slashing damage. Okay, we have got here... Um, so it's just eight points of damage on that one. And plus that's two. my turn. Plus two is ten, thirty-three. Plus two, yeah, plus two, right, ten. Cool. Yeah, that's my turn. And then joining the fray, because I can't bother to be Linda, um, Drago, welcome to the club. Hello. All right. Oh, he's got a headset. I got a headset. <laughs> nice. Well, you know, now he's this one of these famous twitchers. <laughs> Yeah. Earning money off of it and everything. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting a 57 whole p a week at this stage, so Whoa! you know, <laughs> not too. Oh, yes. uh, Start rolling out, Mister Money. Just start. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, Drinks. see, a number one, number one fan, you know, got to look out for you. Got to look out for you guys. Is this um, on your Twitch? I, yeah, um, I've actually made badges and stuff and emotes now so uh you've got something for your 57p a week so Ooh, welcome yeah <laughs> um nice. yeah, I, I, need need several... start, I need to uh, get yourself you over to you. vegas zero o vegas i know I, I, I tried to the last oh, time and that is in zero vegas you, you subscribe and you still don't know what my channel's name is. He watches gonna, all the time. <laughs> I've got a great new Twitch, a new Twitch profile. Oh, mine no, anymore, apparently, so. I thought it was it's, it's Vega Zero O Vegas then. Yes. Oh, see, I've got a bag. He's got the wrong way around. It's late. I'm dyslexic. Let me know. Right. Um, I have several, several, uh, bleeding cool stuff. I have several questions. <laughs> um, Hit me. Uh, the guy on the rock is um, bone face, not bone face. Yes, um, still bone face. And we're on top of a mountain, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. right. Surrounded by dragons. Yes, I see that much. Um, what's the weather like? Cold, sunny, cold. Well, one of you said cold, one of you said sunny. The sun is, so the sun is, is out, it? but it's cold, right? Okay, um, okay, in that case, then. I'm going to stay where I am, uh, but I'm going to stretch out my hammer, uh, point it directly to bone face, not bone face. Um, and just above him, the clouds start to come together, starts to get very, very cloudy, very dark, and a hailstorm of giant uh, rocks of ice come crashing down on him. I am casting Ice Storm directly above his head. What nice. thing, what's the distance on that? <clears throat> 300 feet. Sweet. Yeah, well, nice. Well, 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 well. Oh, so glad you showed up. <laughs> so, 20-foot uh, radius from a point, which is obviously going to be above his head, he has to make a dexterity saving throw, or anything within that twenty foot radius has to make a twenty um, make a dexterity saving throw. Mm. No, Jeffrey. Uh, dexterity. Yeah, that's right. We'll leave the giraffe alone. Oh, is that a giraffe? I thought that was a dragon. <laughs> no, the giraffe. No, is a giraffe. At... I thought that was a baby dragon or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's baby dragon. Uh, um. 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 Dexterity saving. Me, you know, uh, time visit. That would be 19. Wow. Okay. Um, so he passes. Uh, however, can I use Channel Divinity uh, alongside casting the spell? Um, I just I still don't know the rules with that. If that's something I have to do as like a, a separate thing to casting a spell. Channel, channel, channel divinity takes an action. Okay. Um, actually, do you know what? It won't do anything for the spell anyway. It's fine. Um, right. So if he passes, um, he'll take half of this. Okay. But it's 2d8 bludgeoning and 4d6 cold damage. So nice. uh, bludgeoning is 10, so that will be 5. Uh, and then... The cold damage. Uh, oh, 19. So we'll round nine. Up to 10. I will round up to 10. 10. 
Okay. I'll so 15, 15 damage overall from that. Cool. Um, and the terrain is considered difficult terrain until the end of my next turn. Okay. Just within that 20 foot radius of where he is. Yeah, that's fine. I can't see him moving any zone soon, but cool. Hmm. Um, and actually, do you know what? I will move a tiny bit. I'll move um, back up and uh, stand just behind him. Well, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, okay. You would have easily have made it to this one. <laughs> okay. All good. Happy with that. All good. Marvelous. Well, that will bring us to Boneface, not Boneface. Bone tour. And he is going to use one of my favorite spells. Why about? No. Fireball. Oh, God. He's going to get the dragon. God damn it. He don't care. He don't give a fuck, does he? <laughs> um, a bright streak of flame fires. Would all of you uh, make dexterity saving throws, please? All right. I still be disadvantaged. Not a dexterity, no, it's dexterity saving throw. I mean, you're effectively, you're still going to jump out of the way of a fire, but with wisdom saving throws, you're all disadvantaged. 16. You guys aren't going to like this. Saving um, I've got 25 a or 19. 12. Oh, no. Bye, Drago. <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> No, what's your dexterity saving throw? Come on, Lindworm, pay attention. Ouch. You don't give me Lindworm, me. <laughs> 16. Uh, 16 plus 1, 17. Good. Well, I'm going to give you good news. Because you're a Goliath, you get danger sense, so you get advantage on dexterity saving throws. Oh. oh I didn't know that. So roll again. Mm. Seven. Cool. So we stick with the 17. <laughs> All of you that rolled underneath 18 oh. are going to take all of this. Ouch. Uh, 21. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. I'm so lucky I actually got a high. It's taking him a while. That means it's a lot. Depends on what level he chose. I was just thinking, right, if you put wings on a giraffe, it would pretty much be a, be dragon. a dragon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop making me lose count. Sorry. <laughs> I think it was like a two. <laughs> that... Uh, will be a magnificent 32 points. Oh, wow. Fire damage. Um, well, is that halved? Halved for you, yes. I'm, I'm going to use... So 16. Um, 16. And, I'm use and you are now no longer use. charmed. Cool. I'm using stone endurance. Okay. Um, me thing on it. That's the first big spell that I've pulled out. All the rest of them I've used have been... Right. Bit. As a reaction, reduce damage to... Uh, God. To apply 1d12. Right. damn. Oh, what did I do? Dragon. Uh, didn't want the dragon. Yeah. That is a serious chunk of health. Yeah. D12, and I rolled a 10, plus 2, so a 12. So, you, yeah. So you take 20 points out. Damage. Yeah. 20, 20, 20, 
Okay. On the impact on the impact of the fire, Lindworm snaps out of his chest as he suddenly clicks. I'm Ander. Oh my god. Wow. Has it been that long a day? Ander. Twice. Ander. Shh. Twice. Ander snap. Ander. I've got fucking hair. Shut up. Yeah, but so is yeah, but so is Paddy, just on his chin. Yeah. <laughs> Still got hair. And uh, and uh, and uh, snaps out of his uh, snaps out of his charm, and is now back to his senses. The brass dragon, after getting hit by this huge fireball, breaks free of the grip, and now flies back up into the sky. But as I've only cast a spell, why not? Bone face or bone face grips the dragon's eye. Oh my god, what's that? Crystal. Uh, it's actually a shadow dragon, but for the purposes oh. of this, it is a black dragon. Oh, okay. No, it looks like an albino dragon to me. And that'll be that. Hmm. That will bring us back to King Robert. Oh, I'm bleeding now. Where'd that dragon go? Right. Charge! It charges towards Boneface and the, the Black Dragon. Can I get to the Black Dragon? Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. How high is it hovering or it's on the floor. It's on the floor. Just because the models are up in the air, they're on the floor. Right. Grapple. <laughs> <laughs> Let go. Give everyone oh, a headshot. Come on. Oh, it's no it's nowhere near good enough. Do uh, you have advantage? I do, yeah. Eighteen. With advantage. No yeah. way. No way. Come here, you bloody, bloody stupid, bloody animal. Come here. Go, go, what, bloody happened, what happens when the DM rolls on that one? <laughs> Grappled yeah. another one. <laughs> Just headlocking dragons. That's, that's, that's your new feat, mate. You are, you are <laughs> King Bob, the dragon grappler. <laughs> Oh god, what I have your hobby. Oh yeah, I do yeah. wrestling with dragons. Oh just wrestle wrestle dragons, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got anything else, so um yeah, that's Bob. Yay. <laughs> and uh um coming to I will move Towards Bone Tall. Say that again. I'm going to go move full movement in, up to um, Bone Face, not Bone Face, or Bone Tall. And I'm going to go cast a chromatic orb at fourth level. Uh, Which is a bit of dispel. Dispel. Wave my hand. Dispel. Candor. I'm a dick. Dispel. Oh, no. 
Man, that chromatic orb hurts. Yeah, it's a good good spell. Um, are you going to dispel it? Yes, hundred percent. Right. I'm worth using a level four dispel on that. Reaction. I'm going to dispel your dispel. <laughs> oh reaction. DM's going to sp- dispel your dispel. He's already <laughs> using his reaction to dispel oh, my dispel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Legendary. Go on. No, um, I'm, I'm getting him to waste his spell slots. He's fine. Go on. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I've got um, spell cards of arcane recovery. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's an 18, by the way. An 18? Yeah. Did okay. Well, did you got a level? Have you, you got a, well, I used, uh, yeah, I used a level four dispel. Did you use a level four dispel? Yeah, I used my last um, le- level four slot to dispel. Good to know. Was that an 18 to hit? Yeah. Does it hit? Thinking about using something. Oh, okay. Because this spell isn't a reaction, is it? Is it? No, it's not. Oh, no, it's an action. It is an action. It's not a reaction. Therefore, it doesn't count against my reactions. Oh, shit. I'm going to take back. Does it not? Because mm. some spells you can use as reactions, even though... You can, yeah. Like as, yeah, as a special? Yeah, counter spell. Ah, I just use yeah. Use dispel. Yeah, but surely... The thing is, dispel would be useless if it wasn't a reaction. I'm just reading. I mean, I disp- I've, al- I've always believed that dispel magic can be used as a reaction. I'm just looking to see where it gets. Yeah, because otherwise, how else are you going to use it unless it's on a concentration mm. or something like that? I don't know. It might actually be it. It doesn't actually say... Doesn't actually say, but on the DM, let's make some shit up. I am going to use my steel wings because put bone face, put him so far away, still taking a pounding. So as your as your chromatic orb with an eighteen to hit, yeah, yeah, you suddenly see all the, these wings sort of encase around his body as the chromatic orb hits and just. Start sliding off of these steel wings. I mm. chose cold, so it'll be just, you know, just right, freezes right. the. Right. Right. Yeah, the, the wings get ice as the wings, bit of flavour. Then as the wings open yeah. back up to reveal the ice cracks and smashes, yeah, and shards. Nice. Break I'm fine with that. Dissipate. Just wanted to go add flavour to it. Of course. Of course. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Your guy's getting really scary now, right? Right, <laughs> that was again nasty. This is motherfucker. <laughs> like magic card. Let me begin with shit. Is that you? Let me or? evolve. Is that you? Know? Yeah. Cool. Uh, then that will bring us to Mojo. Hey, really my should have gone for the Mojo, I got another one for you. I oh, know. Have you got a cheeseburger? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to frenzy now because I've already raged on me. Oh, so, so, yeah, I'll go up to this drag, other dragon that Bob's got. With the, <laughs> I can't picture it. I'm just trying to, <laughs> every time I picture him, I just think he's just going out on his head. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so, great axe attack. Oh, shit. I'm going to throw that down there. Right, we're 15 plus 6. 21 to hit. Uh, 21 hits. And a D12 for damage. Uh, so 11 plus 3, 14 plus my 2, 15, uh, 16 hit, uh, slashing damage. Mm -hmm. uh, next attack. Uh, 18 plus 6, 24. Okay. Not bad. It's not too bad. Uh, Yeah, so, mm. There's only uh, seven points of damage on the second go. Okay, okay. And third and final. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, 19 to hit. Uh, that hits. And last but not least, slashing damage. Uh, is 11 points of slashing damage. Um, as this black dragon, as this black dragon, this young black dragon is grappled by Bob, sort of holding it, giving it a noogie, you just sort of walk up to the back of it, just sort of chopping away at it. <laughs> um, Drago. Tis you. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take another shot at Boneface. Not Boneface, but Boneface. <laughs> Not Boneface. Um. So uh, I want to kind of edge a tiny, tiny bit further, but not so close that we're all kind of clustered together. Mm -hmm. So Something probably um. Really mm, um. So pro probably um. Just where it kind of, yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, too far. No, I'm joking. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know you ruined it. No, no. That's fine. It's now um, spoiled. And then I'm going to, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, at third level, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. So, uh, 17 to hit him. Well, but, uh, uh, bone face, not bone face, that is a hit. Mm. Yes. So, at reaction. third level, that's going to be, let's see, four, five. Hang on. Yeah. 66. That's that's 6d6, not 66, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> um, but we'll oh, see. Do that, that mean. Uh, okay. I've only got four sets of dice. So uh, 6, 8, 10, 11, uh, 17 radiant damage. And the next attack roll made against him before my next turn has advantage. Good for those people that remember that. Yeah, very useful. Thank you. Well, he has been taking an absolute caning. You start to see Boneface. He's, all, he's almost looking around on the rock as if he's trying to find something to do, somewhere to go, some sort of way of suffering this onslaught. <clears throat> I'm going to roll uh, the contested strength to get out of the grapple. I've got a 21. 24. Wow. Nice. 
Lovely. I'm yeah, yeah, you ain't going nowhere, you Larry Lizard. <laughs> the Green Dragon is going to turn and face Drago and is starts to open his mouth. Don't oh. say anything you'll regret, <laughs> Mr. Dragon. Starts to open his mouth. And as a... Uh, constitution saving throw, please, Mr. Mm. Uh, Mr. Mr. European Drago Man. Oh, no. Mm. That's sp- a 10. Spitting poison straight into your face. <laughs> uh, as he let loose his poison breath. D6. 66. Yeah, 66. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lot of ones. Uh, oh, yes. Two, four, ten, and 18 points of poison damage. Oh. As both of these dragons sort of suffering bone face standing up on the the top of this rock as i say you can see he's agitated he's struggling he's finding it finding it awkward now grasping the dragon's eye with both hands squeezing it tight holding it against his chest the light so bright now so vibrant so flashing the green dragon disappears and flies back up into the sky. The black dragon, although still grappled, is wriggling, he's fighting. But you hear a massive (laughs) up in the air. Oh, no. As a huge shadow comes over the field. Oh, my God. You finally gonna go bring it out. What the fuck? You finally bring it out. What the fuck? Run yep. away! <laughs> I love that model. I think Matt's face says it all. <laughs> what? Well, I was just. Uh, let me guess. I've his never name's seen anything Titch. Anything like it. Uh, but his name's Titch. Would you like to just, just sort of turn it? Okay. An ancient white. Oh, no. In hell. So, there you go. It even makes the camera vibrate when you put it down. <laughs> That's not the biggest dragon. It is quite heavy. That's not the biggest dragon. It's not the biggest it's dragon. not the dragon. <laughs> the biggest dragon I own is up on the shelf there. Yeah, dear man. Although... The, 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 in all honesty, there's not a massive size difference between the two. Mm, true. Uh, 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 so, uh, without squashing too many of you on the board, we'll <laughs> try and move her into some sort of position. It is plain to be fair. There you go. As a bonus <laughs> action, can Drago shit himself? <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I imagine Drago looking at his shit going, that is a good looking shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> as, the dra- as the dragon mother lands, as the dragon mother lands, bone face, hopping on the wing and using his movement and dashing and assuming the position on the back of the dragon. Oh no. That is his turn. And that will bring us to Bob. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, Just uh, want to point out this is exactly the reaction I was hoping for. Quick question for the DM. Sorry, Ben. Um, that, that entrance, is that into a cave or is that an entrance into somewhere? 
it's a cave. Well, it's just it's a, it's a cavern. You can effectively believe it's the home of all the dragons that are flying around the top of the mountain. Right, because I was just thinking about fucking retreating in that fucking thing. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think you should grapple it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob, you grapple it, yeah. I can imagine, yeah, I can imagine it. Bob, like, while, while Bob's got this dragon in head up, looking at the big fucker and going, it's all right, I'm, I'm just... I'm just being, I'm, I'm just looking at, I'm just stroking him. He's all right, you, your baby. He's all right. Come on, come on. Let's see. Hey, uh, problem. I, I, nice. I just want to point out last year, last year I bought a big bundle of dragons, right? And this was in that box. Remember, I shared a picture of a huge box. Yeah. That was when I bought this. I have waited that long to use this. Bloody hell. Looks like we're all dying then. Um, I miscalculated <laughs> my HP. I'm actually on 47. Um, well, I am going to walk towards the tunnel with the dragon in my arms, uh, in the headlock. So I think it's half my movement speed, so 12.5 feet. Oh, yeah, sure. Which is probably just like turning around, not even. <laughs> it, it, I mean, I can't believe you're still holding the dragon. But yeah, you'll get there. Uh, uh, all right. And um, I'm going to take the dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> but because I chose the feet Dwarven Fortitude, I get to heal up one of my hit die at, when I take the dodge action because I need it and as a bonus action I'm going to use second wind as well <laughs> <laughs> um, anybody is thinking you're scared yeah. <laughs> what's up with you yeah and um yeah, and that's that's uh, Bob's turn. So, yeah. We gotta get to the big screen, don't we? Oh dear, that's how the thought. And well, um, yes, and uh, twenty-two. I right hear. Um, if I move back to go get line sight of um, bone face, not bone face. Am I going to leave out in the melee range of the Dragon Mother? Oh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Are you going to be... You are within melee range of the Dragon Mother. Okay. So if you move, you will get an opportunity, opportunity attack on you as you move away. Yeah, I understand. So that will add... Definitely Am I able to go him. see Boneface, or is he like complete cover? From where you are, I mean, you're literally looking up at a giant dragon's head at the moment. You're looking at shoulders. You you would have to back away to be able to see on top of him, unless you've got anything that casts straight down. Look at you, Drago. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go try something. I'm going to go pull up the wand. Uh. Okay. Funny. I mean, and I'm going to go point at the dragon mother. Okay. And I want to go turn, turn it into, let's go say a bar now. <laughs> So it won't have <laughs> falling damage, but it, but bone face will. It charges this right. So hang on. So poly, the polymorph spell. Oh, yeah, go on the polymorph. I'm just wondering how well because it casts the polymorph spell, but I'm wondering how big a creature the polymorph spell can work on. 
I think it depends on the level. Mm. Go and have a look, shall we? Oh, dear. Fourth level. The spell transforms a creature you can see within range into a new form. An unwilling creature must make a wisdom saving throw. The spell has no effect on a shape change or a creature with zero hit points. The transformation lasts zero duration. Target with zero hit points or dies. The new form of the beast. Ah, the new form can be any beast whose challenge rating is equal to or less than the target than the target or the target's level if it doesn't have a challenge rating. The target's game statistics including so or less doesn't say anything about the target's game statistics including mental abilities and replacement of the statistics as a chosen base. It will work, yeah. It, it does. It doesn't say anything. It says challenge rating equal or less, so you can't turn it into something bigger. So let's let's talk about what you're planning on doing here. You're planning on taking a challenge rating twenty creature and turning it into a challenge rating zero. In a sense. So, or any smaller. That uh, he won't be able to mount on and use an escape. Seven charges. <laughs> you can use the action to explain one of his charges to cast the polymorph spell. Oh, I'm telling you now, it's going to cost you more than one charge to do this. I am willing to expend whatever charge amount of change you are asking. Well, let's make let's let's make this DC wisdom saving throw, shall we? And see what. Hell. There we go. Now, this is like when you have one of those ones. It's like, right, who's got the bigger cock? So, wisdom, wisdom saving throw. Well, I'm an ancient white dragon. My wisdom is not terrible. Uh, and that is a 15 on the wisdom saving throw. Yep, you made it. Oh, no. Bang on, made it. 14 on the dice. I've only got a plus one on the wisdom. 15. Shit. Ooh, that oh, that in my, my pants. Yeah, that, that would have been fucking hell. You got some crazy shit. <laughs> Alice that, got some seriously crazy shit. That's the tree end wand. Mm. Oh. Each time it just the, the 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 we're just changing the spells that you can do. Um. Unlucky, right? I mean that was yeah. Blimey. Well, that's my turn. I can't do anything oh. else. Well, then I'm going to enjoy this one. Mojo. No. No. Do you want to that? You know, I've got a good mind to run into that cave, cast uh, the cape of the bat, and then just fly and float around as a bat inside the fucking cave. <laughs> no, 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 fucking no, part no. of this. <laughs> well, and at the same time, I can scout around in there when I'm a bat as well. Um, I, yeah, I really don't know. Um, I mean, I can suppose I can still just keep attacking the smaller dragon, but fuck knows that what where to go on from here. Um, and at the same time, with that dragon, if it's witnessing me hacking away at this other, this little dragon, is it going to entice it to get even more fucking angry? Yeah. Oh Christ! Um, what is the distance between me and the entrance, uh, and just inside that cave? Oh, you're thirty feet from the opening. Right, so I could I could retreat into there and actually do what I said I was going to do, but that way at least if I know it's safe in there, if I do transform into a bat and I can see it's safe to go in there, have a look in there, then I can actually let everyone know, and that's what we could do. Do you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go as far as forty feet will take me in in there. That's your tank, ladies and gentlemen. That's your. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm trying Run to think. Away. 
I'm, I'm thinking tactically here because because we don't know what's in there. We don't know if it's safe or not to actually retreat in there. And at the moment, at this moment in time, unless Drago's got something seriously fucking massive that he can pull out of pull out of his hat here. Dude, I've got something fucks. massive I can pull out. So am I in there just enough to be able to use my cape? No, it's still too light. Fuck it. You Fuck. can see it's too light. You're not even in the shadow. Look, right in the middle. <laughs> You're not even in the dark. You don't even let me hug the fucking wall where, where there is shadow. <laughs> Where are you going, Mojo? Nicky, right, you see, as long as you go into, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm pointing because you can't see what I'm pointing at. But if if I was to be hugging uh, the wall to my to my right, which I would have been able to have gone up to, I would have been in uh, the shadow there. Yeah, and as soon as you flipping lift your arms out on each end, one of them up against the wall like that, I, I could do that, and then I'll turn into a bat and I'll just hug against the wall enough to get in there. It's doable. No. They don't. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> All right, well, that's my go then. Love it. Drago, show these guys how it's done, will you? Okay. Um, <laughs> run away. <laughs> run away. Run. <laughs> uh, I'm just double checking how this works. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up a little bit, um, just to be safe. I mean, if um, it helps, this is the weakest of all the ancient dragons. Doesn't help. Um, <laughs> I. It's the here and now, um, and he looks pretty strong, so no, it doesn't help. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's take a step back. Say. Uh, say 20 feet or so, just to kind of a um, bit of distance. Okay. Uh, so I am going to once again direct my hammer towards Boneface. Uh, and similar to before, there's going to be a cluster of clouds appear above him about 60 feet or so above him uh, and they too turn very dark but you can hear a rumble of thunder coming from him this time and I'm going to cast call lightning at level 4 oh, uh, nice. now this actually let me think carefully hmm if it hits Call me, light. I don't care. So do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a 60-foot radius mm. from where it's directed. So if I'm putting it directly over where he is. Yeah, I mean, you could, you're, you're, you're going to miss. You can do it so that you miss Amber. Okay. I, I would like to try and do that. Um, so it's all like the length of the dragon. Mm. Yeah, let's let's do that then. Um, so each creature, well, in fact, it says it's a sixty foot radius, but the actual damage itself only affects anything within five feet of the point that I'm centering it over. Well, you're putting it on Bonehead's head. So, yeah, it's fine. And you're going to yeah. be a big white dragon as well. So. I'll chance it. Um, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. Of course they do. Mm. I can't imagine my dragon having a good dexterity. Uh, bone face is a 19. And the dragon is a 6. Mm. Okay. Uh, if that's the case... I would like to use Channel Divinity alongside that then. <laughs> um, because what that does, if I use Destructive Wrath, it means when I roll lightning or thunder damage, instead of rolling, I can just use the maximum damage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so 
because I was casting at level four, that would have been 4d10 damage, lightning damage. Oh, nice. So that's going to be 40 lightning damage. Yes. Plus um, one because of the deity gave you that gift with Thunder and Lightning. Well remembered, right? Mm. So 40. One. <laughs> Make counts. Wow. Yeah, so this lightning crackles and snaps as it comes down and strikes the top of this um the, the, the top of this dragon. You don't quite see how direct the the aim is as it strikes bone face. As it strikes bone face, not bone face. As you hear from the top, yeah, you have to do better than that, you boobs. <laughs> what dick. I'm going to take a little, <laughs> and I'm going to take a legendary reaction on that, because fuck you. You <laughs> <laughs> bleeding bony bugger. Um, legendary action. Take tail swipe, I think, with the with my giant white dragon, we're going to go for a tail flail on oh, the uh, no. well on the nearest thing to me, which is going to be Ander. Yep. Uh, oh, look how small Ander is! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. no! Uh, I, I get there in it right. So that is. Uh, <laughs> so it's plus fourteen to hit. What's your? Oh my god. <laughs> What's your arm? Yeah, that, that hits. I was thirteen. Good because yeah. I only rolled a two. Um, <laughs> right, it's not massive. Thirteen plus eight. Twenty-one points of bludgeoning damage from the flail. Wow. Tank. Can I um... continue to run away if you want? To. Can I use a reaction? Uh, I don't know, can you? Um, I, yeah, uh, yes, I would like to use my cloud rune, which means you have to redirect the attack to a creature of my choosing, and I choose Boneface. Do me a favour and roll a d20 because I want to see whether you're able to do this while grappling the dragon. What? This is like my one-time thing I can do. But you're grappling the dragon. I've rolled a 12. Go on, I'll let you have it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm letting you have it. You're grappling a dragon while trying to drag it along the floor. Yeah, but I'm using magic. The magic. Uh, magic powerful and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Magic baby. <laughs> so what is it? What am I what am I doing? I've got to redirect you, my attack. So basically you use the same roll on um bone face, not bone face. Um you basically just wait, hang on, let me just double check so it's I know exactly what it is. Um Please. I mean, if I'm using that exact roll, which uh, uh, is 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 Adder within thirty feet of me? First of all, yes. Okay. So yeah. Um, uh, okay, I don't want to use that. <laughs> Or do I have to use it now? Okay, I have to use it. Have oh, it. Right, fine. I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna use, I use it because it's, uh, otherwise it's yeah, it's a bit shit. I I want you to hit the dragon that I'm grappling. You want me to hit the dragon? That you're yeah, grappling? because I can't use I can't choose bone face because he's not within thirty feet of me, or is he? I don't know. No, he's definitely not. No. So it has to be the dragon. So you want me to hit the dragon? Yeah. With my, advantage. with my other dragon. Yeah. 
This poor dragon. Wow. That was two completely different rolls. That was a nat one followed by a nat 20. Oh my God. A poor dragon. Uh, so that is 15, 19. One of its children as well. That is uh, 30 points of damage on the black dragon. And that will be the black dragon dead in your arms. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, 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 I didn't do nothing. It was you, love. <laughs> that is the, that, so you, you get back your 21 points, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, buddy, man. Right, Thank man. you. I get to start using one of my legendary actions. Oh, it? no. It was a one-time thing. I know, but I haven't used, I haven't used anything yet. And now I've got a dragon with legendary actions. Oh, no. I should have saved it. Um, no, that's, it's, it, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so that was... I used my legendary action after that. Oh, it's Boneface's turn. Nice. Shit. Boneface, what are you fancy doing? Oh, let's cast the spell. Oh, okay. What do we fancy? Mm -hmm. What is up with that stupid band who's got my dragon in a headlock? Yeah, that's a good idea. We do that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that one. Oh, how about we fucking kill everybody? Yeah, that's fucking great. <laughs> we'll do that. I say we breath, leave them alone. Breath weapon on the entire area. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Bloody bone face. Not bone face. <laughs> bone face, not bone face. Exactly. Would the two men inside the inside the circle please make a constitution saving throw, please? No. I'm not really inside the circle, you see. Oh, a con save. Is it a con save or a deck save? Con save. Oh, that put in here. I got a 19. Okay. okay, so you both succeeded. Oh, thank God for that. Four, five, six, seven. So, as this 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 giant sphere of dark necrotic energy comes over the top of you. Wow. Uh, 6, 12, 18, 22, 26. 38 points of necrotic damage. There's this Look. giant sphere of dark, but you both take half, so 19. Jesus. Ooh. As this dark sphere of necrotic energy comes over your head. And as you stand there, you're now filled with depression and oh no. A negative thoughts. That's what it is, negative energy. Mm. I just like the name of it. It's called the Circle of Death. <laughs> oh no. That's exactly what it says on the tin. Made by Ron <laughs> right, Let's move. Move Dead Dragon away. Uh, so I cast a spell. Oh, I suppose you could command a dragon. Sure, why not? What do we fancy doing? And is in front of me. Oh, sure, why not? Stamp. <laughs> Eat. Well, I mean, I've, I've been tempted to use the breath weapon, but I mean, I, you guys would absolutely like just you'd never play again. Oh, all right. Do you actually have a choice? What's that? Now, do, do, do you know what? Directly in front of me, and I just got slapped by lightning. Yeah, come on then. I'm, I'm going to throw this at Drago. I'm going to throw this at Drago. Now, this is this is this is this is the same breath that killed uh, Matt's favourite uh, player character. When Bobcat Goffway died. Oh. oh. 
So would would Drago please make me a Constitution saving throw, please? Mm. I'm just doing it directly ahead of me, and I can't quite because he's under my chin, so he ain't going to get it. So I got twenty on the dice, uh, yes. and then a three. That is a save on a Constitution DC of twenty-two. What, what the fuck? Whoa. Fuck it out. That is a save. So you are only going to take half of this damage. Half again, because he's got... Shut up. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I get to roll the dice first. Let me roll the dice. Sorry. I, think, I, I, think like my, gonna... I like my teammates to be alive. I think I've got enough to... Stop metagaming. Or... <laughs> Six, eight, ten, twelve. You, you don't need that many. Fourteen. <laughs> Sixteen D eight of cold damage. Oh, hang on. Six sixteen, did you say? Sixteen. <laughs> okay. I have got cold resistance. Well, you got your amulet, didn't you? Mm. So you've got your your halved because you made the save, and it's mm. going to get halved again because you've got the amulet, which is why I didn't mind doing it because mm. I'm not a complete dick. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate that. That's pretty good. Um, this could, yeah, this could be really hurt you. Uh, eight, 16, 24, 29, 35, 41, 49, 54. Uh, 54, 61, 64, 70, 72, 74, 78, 82. That is 87 points of cold damage. Halved to 44 and halved again to 22. Oh, you're so lucky. Mm. I felt like that um, you were reenacting that scene from Wreck It Ralph Breaks the Internet where they just keep saying bigger and bigger numbers. And I was like, when is this going to end? <laughs> <laughs> 27,000, 27,001. <laughs> Stuffy's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, that, that, that will be their turn. So it will go back to the beginning. <laughs> Bob. Hello. I like the way you turned around and said at the beginning of that, how oh, uh, you're tempted to do something, but we wouldn't want to play again. And that, I was just like, oh, we actually get a choice. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to really? turn up. Well, I, thought, I thought this was now a way of life. It's like cemented. In. <laughs> <laughs> what round are we on? Uh, this, we, we are, that, that was the start of round six. Oh, okay. That's cool. Let's start around six. So, um... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um... Uh, it's a big dragon. And it's an evil skeleton faced man on the back. Kill one of them. Oh, God. I'm going to run and. Oh. I'm going to take a shot with the crossbow at Boneface. Yes, I'll, give, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. He is in a half cover. Half cover? Yeah, well, he's standing on top of a giant dragon. I'm going to jump and then take a shot. Still half cover. <laughs> Fucking hell. So if you were to come closer to me, surely you would have a better, slightly better view of him. Still half cover. No. Right. Um... What's oh, the top God. half you're on aim for anyway? So, uh, no original plan run towards the dragon, towards its wing, and start climbing. Start climbing up the wing. Athletics, then, please. Eleven. 
Okay, I'll give it to you. you oh, worry. nice. I will, I will give you to the point that you have managed to jump up and grab hold of the wing. Um, so you are off the floor, but you haven't really made any gains in height. So is that, are you, are you going to say that's my action or is that... Uh... That's definitely an action. Really? Uh... Movement to the wing, action to grab. Okay, then. Uh... Shit. Um, yeah, that's me. Okay. Done. I, I, I appreciate the effort you're putting in, but... <laughs> and... Uh, yep. With a mojo on dick. <laughs> I just... Uh, I do enjoy the fact um, that the paint's running away. <laughs> I can't, no I can't see. I'm thinking of an alternative. That's all. We don't know what's in there. You know? Where I am, I can't still see bone face. Not from where you are. You're literally looking up at a dragon neck. Yeah. I can try again. Did I expend any points of the wand when I attempted? Oh, you did. You definitely did. Yeah, how I'll many? Say, I'll, I'll say you used four because it was a, a ridiculous request going from a, a, a challenge rating 20 to a challenge rating zero. <laughs> uh, I'll try and use try and go again with the three whatever three points gets me okay i mean yeah three three points but three points will drop you down to something along the lines of let me turn around and look at my menagerie uh we'll probably drop it down to hmm sort of chimera Griffin kind of size. Or if we go, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'm, yeah, this would be quite good. If you use your three and you're successful, it will turn into a T Rex. <laughs> Is that any better? <laughs> well, it's, I'm giving him, I'm, I'm giving him twelve. Chat. I'm giving, giving him twelve. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'll give him. I'll go with the T Rex. I know it still can do damage, but it's only a. But at least only it can't a fly away. Enjoy, enjoy saying that. It's only a T Rex. <laughs> only a T Rex. No, but I mean by that, at least it can't fly away. I mean, if you wanted, to, well, yeah, can't fly away. That's, Yeah, I'll expend it. I'll expend the three to go turn it to a T Rex. <laughs> uh, what was the same? Um... <laughs> it's a DC. Wisdom team in throw to a 15. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, dude. I love your ideas, but they're never going to work. So 16 on the dice, so 17, so. Oh, no. Yep. All right, that's oh, my turn. Oh, no. And is obsolete. Wait, am I in, is that an a action I can actually spit acid? Or is it just a character trait? Carry on. Go on, I'll allow it. Yeah, I'll just use my breath weapon. Cool. Get as much. What's my save on? What's 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 the save on that? It's wisdom, wisdom charisma, dexterity, woman. Um, 
That's so that's so fucking helpful. Um, Dex. Dex. Well, I'm a dragon. Um, I'm I'm gonna go shoot up because I'm trying to go get um bone face, not bone face, but if she's in the way. All right, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, so well, my dragon actually rolled a fifteen, which is uh, amazing. Um, let's do. I'm gonna do a percent on. You are fifty percent chance, fifty three percent chance of hitting bone face. Oh, I'll take that chance, and the dragon did fail because it's a DC sixteen. Mm-hmm. So that's three D six. And um, that is ten points of acid. Cool. And yes, you did hit bone face. Cool. So ten points of acid damage. You see the skin suddenly starting to melt off of bone face's face. There, it's just. <laughs> cool. And then it was it ten off the dragon. Um. Yeah. Poor dragon mother. Man. As the acid as the acid strikes against her shoulder, she lets out a huge almighty roar. <laughs> I'm gonna sore throat. I've been doing that too much this evening. Legendary reaction. Going to kill a little man who just spat shit at me. We're gonna go for a wing attack. Oh, Bob, look where you are. Oh, no, on the wing. <laughs> it's like you planned this. No. So, I hope maybe the, it's the other wing. The giant white dragon sort of rears up a bit and both wings start to flap vigorously. Huge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bob, sorry, mate. Can you roll me a de- Can you roll me a dexterity saving throw? With disadvantage. Disadvantage. Um, you're currently hanging on to the wing. Um, and uh, with, uh, with normal just oh, decks. Over. Normal decks. Cool. Seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely a fail. <laughs> it's definitely a fail. Um, I've got a 17. Cool. DC 19. So um, you both, you're both going to take the full whack of it, but it's not as bad as you think because... While, while Bob is hanging on to this wing and sort of legs flying in the air, so, yeah, as the wing sort of starting to flap, he's getting hit by debris and bits of uh, bits of, bit, bits of uh, shards of ice that are being, oh, that's really rubbish, James. Too many ones. Um, two, six. Uh, it's nine. It's nine plus six. Fifteen points of bludgeoning damage from the oh. uh, flying debris. Oh wait! Oh yeah, I haven't been hit with anything that does like physical damage yet. Yeah, I take half because I've got the. I use the hill rune. Okay. So round it up. Got one more legend reaction to use on this turn. Anything else from you, Ander? Um, you use the stick and you use your breath weapon, so chances are it's in there. Is Bob still on the wing? Yeah, you can. You, you, you hold oh, on. Oh shit! I'll let you carry on holding on. Nice. I'll just make it slightly more difficult for you the next time. <laughs> no, nothing more, Ander. Um, I might use my arcane recovery. Okay. While he's um, doing his arcane recovery, uh, that'd be my we'll, turn. We'll move on to Mojo. Yeah. Right. I'm going in. The cave. I can't reach any further, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're out for it. 
Why are you running away? <laughs> Well, well, well. Obviously, my travel is further than that, so he can't reach. So he's in there. Yes, you're in the shade. Right. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to use. So we can still see him. I'm going to use it. Ca- I'm going to use the, the cape with the bat, and I'm going to polymorph myself into a bat. <laughs> Hang on. Oh look, the sun's coming round. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Bullshit. Because I would I would be, still be in further enough in there um, for that not to have been a problem. So, <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm, turning my, I'm turning myself into a bat and I'm floating around, see? In the air. And I'm just gonna have a scout round to actually see what's in there. Great. So, do I do an investigation or? You, I mean, have, we'll, we'll put you, let's say, sixty feet into the cave. Right. So, do an investigation using a bat's. Uh, I think it's a bat's intelligence, isn't it? Yeah. What's a bat's intelligence? Not a bloody lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not a bloody lot, let me tell you. Uh, well, actually, no, because you'd use your own intelligence, only they're physical. So use your own. And intelligence, so. Probably worse than the bats, right. isn't it? So, an investigation. Well, I've got a plus three on my investigation, so we'll see how we go. Oh, nice. So 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, well, 60 feet in, as you look deep, because you've got blind sight, as you look deep into the cave, 120 feet, you notice maybe 40 sleeping young dragons. Oh, fucking hell. 40? Yeah. Fuck this. See you later. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to remain floating for my turn because I'm going to have to come back out. There's not really a fucking lot else to do in there. Um, well, well, while you're there, would you roll me a stealth roll? Five, six. Uh, yeah, God damn it, Mojo. All I heard was roll me a stealth roll. <laughs> a 14, so 15 with me modifier. Okie dokie. Allow me to roll a dice. <laughs> oh, no. no. Right. Uh, that will move on. Drago, it is you. Uh, okay. <laughs> I want to move back a little bit more. <laughs> you guys are worried. It's interesting. What? Well, I can't move. <laughs> now, um, the thing with this cool lightning spell is... Um, stays in effect it's a concentration spell nice um and so i can use an action to cast it again well, um in, in, in in that case before any more shit goes on I'm... last legendary action i got a I got her. Yes, yeah, all right. Last legendary action. Because I just, yeah, because I can. It's the one I haven't used yet. Would everybody on the table, barring the back, because it's a pussy? Um, yes. Roll me, roll me a wisdom saving throw, please. You pussy. Don't run with investigating. An alternative escape route. Hang. Central escape route. So you never know. Nine. 16. I got a dirty 20. Cool. So uh, everybody except for Ander are now absolutely terrified. 
the almighty roar that comes out of this dragon is almost freezes you in place. Oh no. And um <laughs> and Bob's holding on to it. So you you are you are you are now frightened. Hmm. Of the dragon? Yes, of mm. the dragon. And now I'll let Drago continue with his turn. Mm. <laughs> Don't know how much that affects it doesn't what I was right. Okay. Um in that case more of a I can. <laughs> okay. Um it in that case, uh yeah, I will use call lightning again. Um so another dexterity saving throw from both parties, skeleton and dragon. Bloody hell. Well, that is a 14, 14 off of uh, Skeletor, a natural 20 from the dragon. Mm. Wow. Makes me nice. interested how the dragon misses. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. So, um, dragon. Oh, suddenly it makes well, a hole in the middle of its back so it goes straight through. <laughs> it's now a bone dragon. The dragon's only going to take half of this if I can find the dice. Uh, oh, I just rolled two of them twice. Okay, so 16 lightning damage, and then obviously halved for the dragon. Mm -hmm. As this lightning comes crashing down, smashing into the back of the dragon. The dragon rears up on its hind legs, both feet smashing against the tundra floor. As you see, a, uh, a very disheveled, a very uh, loose-limbed humanoid body roll off of the back of the dragon and land on the floor next to it. Mm. Bone face is no longer moving. Well done, Drago. Oh. Um, just remind me, because, yeah, um, I've obviously used that action. If I use a bonus action to cast a spell, I can't do that, right? No. no. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'll stay put. And I'll, yeah, I'll end my turn. Okay. It would be Boneface's turn. As Boneface hits the floor, you see the dragon's eye orb roll away from his body. Not far, maybe 18 inches, maybe two feet. It's still there, but it still glows a vibrant red as the eyes of the dragon mother glisten. The dragon mother will continue to fight. Still under the power of the orb. What are we going to do? We'll go for a bite on the closest thing to me. Oh, I've got a dwarf on my wing. Let's attempt to bite a dwarf. No. No. I'm, 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 I'm allowed to bite a dwarf. Surely I am. It's only, it's only a plus. It's only a plus fourteen. So that. Uh -huh. uh, a nom, a nom, a nom. Twenty nine to hit. Yeah, yeah, you make it. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to get hit with. Well, that's not bad. Five. It's thirteen points of piercing damage. Hmm. Plus nine points of cold damage. Oh. So it'd be so five both... cold damage because you got your. Mm, and I got my hill rune, so the whole lot gets halved. Mm -hmm. So 11 points. Not bad. Oh, nice. 
I'm going to make two claw attacks. No. Um, at, well, I can't really claw attack you on the wing, so I'm going to claw attack the little dude in front of me with a 25 to hit. Oh, that and, hits, even if I did shield. And a 17 to hit. Um, am I able to do shield? If... Well, it's a reaction, so you can protect yourself against the second one. Um, yeah, I'll go cast shield for that one. Okay, then. We'll swap the dice over so I don't make that same mistake twice. You're going to take seven, 15 points of slashing damage from the claw. 15. Cool. That will be the end of the mother's turn. Bob, shoot. We're going to release the mother's wing, drop down to the ground. Go, go over to fucking Boneface's corpse. Yeah. Stamp on his head twice. Twice? Okay. Yep. Uh, and uh, then pick up the, the orb. So what, what I'm going to say to you, because all of that is very easily doable. Now you've got the orb in your hands. What are you doing? Um, holding it. <laughs> now, That's in, well, I can't well, do anything else, can I? Well, you're holding this orb. Yeah, but I stamped on bone face, so that was my action. Okay. Bone face, not bone face. I didn't make you roll anything. You're just okay. Free action. Um, I go stop, you magnificent creature. Roll me a wisdom, just wisdom, flat. Well, wisdom. There we go. Oh fuck off! Everything, oh fuck off! Everything in this world's got a DC. Roll me a wisdom. Just straight wisdom. Straight yep. wisdom. Yeah, just a check. 14. The orb still glows a bright, vibrant red. Oh, no. That's it. Okay. Haven't got anything else. Ander, down to you. If I move towards Bob, would I get get attacked? No, because you're not leaving the melee range. Bob's basically. Um, I'll, ring. I will move towards Bob, seeing that he's got the orb, and ask him, "Can I have a try?" No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, it's up to the um, what happened. Yeah, I mean, free, it's free action to pass something. So he's walked up to you, you know, you can take it off of him. You know exactly what you need to do. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this stupid thing here. Yeah. I'll probably speak in Draconic. And... Ask the dragon mother to cease her attack. Cool. I'll let you have. A, I'll let you. I'll let you do a wisdom throw with advantage, because at least you're speaking her language. Just what with the wisdom modifier as well, or just flat d twenty? No, no, no. You, your wisdom. So the thing, consider it a check. <sighs> um, that's a nineteen plus four. Twenty-three. As you hold, as you, as you hold the orb, and do you remember how to speak Draconic? You're really gonna make me do this, aren't you? Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Heart and soul. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Can't do it. Come on, just do it. I know. I tried. I just do it. Just do it. Do it now. Just do it. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, he does remember how to speak draconic. Yeah, he's, he does. He's I remember what he made me to do. He's got a little bit of a lisp. The um, <laughs> so special. 
as the uh, yeah, uh, as you talk, as you as you talk to the dragon mother through the dragon's eye, the dragon's eye, the light starts to dim as the orb goes out, and the dragon mother now sort of blinks a few times, reverts, sort of almost looks confused in itself as I stop fighting because the initiative is over. As the dragon mother turns down, looks looks to this small draconic um, creature holding the orb, and just gently nods its head. As it then mm. flaps, as it flaps, I will bow down to her. As she flaps her mighty wings and takes off into the sky, now starting to herd all of the young all of the younglings. Um, before she le- leaves, I ask one the dragonling to. Deliver it to Old Haven to um, Draken. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I, I'm with. I'm with you on that. And when I see them flying by, I'll send mm-hmm. message. Let me finish. Sorry. Send message. What you well, message, you message to the younglings? Oh uh, no, to um, Draven to go say it's on its way. No, but I mean, how are you getting the message to the dragon? To... Oh, no, I'm going to go talk to the dragon's eye. He's going to talk to the dragon's eye to get one of the... Use the dragon's eye to ask the dragon to deliver to Old Haven. As the... All right, I changed my story a little bit. As the dragon mother flies high up into the sky, now herding the thunder of dragons around the top of the peak of Orzammar, Many of the younglings clearing off and flying off into the distance, disappearing probably back to their original homes. A few flying down to the large cavern where a small um, bat known as Mojo is currently residing, hiding up against a wall. Um, <laughs> so why are you laughing? I'm just, I'm safe. Ish. Ish. One, one, one youngling gold dragon comes down, bows its head down to you, looking at the orb. I bow down to it, and will ask it to deliver to Old Haven. It gently takes the orb in its mouth as again it flaps its wings and takes off and starts heading south. The dragon mother now roaring in victory uh, above the top of the clouds. Would you all roll me a perception check? Including me? Yeah, you're effectively still in the cave, so no. 11. Um, 17. 13. Still with the, still with the draconic fellow then? As you're looking up in and almost in majesty of the dragon mother flying around the top of this peak, as she circles around, you suddenly see like a flash of black, almost almost giving you uh, a headache in the back of your head. A flash of green eyes appears as this huge bolt of dragons, green dragon smoke fires and hits the side of the dragon mother. One, two, three huge bolts of green fire smash against this huge ancient white dragon. The ancient white dragon is damaged, one of its wings broken as it starts to fall from the sky, landing, crashing into the mountainside and rolling down, landing on a precipice below. As you see a huge black green smoke coming from every orifice, And for Andrew, who has seen this in his dreams, the archdemon flies atop as the dragon mother lay dead on the side of the cliff. And that's where we're going to leave it for this week. Well, if I can't be staying in the cave for the fucking week, the winds are going to wait. <laughs> Shouldn't have got in there. Then. And another session bites the dust. More dragons and 
yes, I'm going to, eventually, I'm going to kill somebody. For those of you who kept watching all the way to the end, thank you. And until next time, take care.